Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking another video. You guys see the title. Lonnie is a comedian and she's on The Real. I don't know if anyone's ever watched that show. Lonnie is one of the co-hosts. What people don't understand about comedians is comedians make jokes. Not everything they do or say should be taken so seriously, so wholeheartedly. This is a compilation of the most racist things she said. So we're gonna see, like, is it really racist? Are people being sensitive? Let's just check this video out and see what's going on. I have provided my co-workers and my sisters with a face mask and the necessary hand sanitizer. Oh my God. How do you think I should have to look like a woman from Afghanistan that had, you know, to protect you? Check that out. No, I'm with Tamar. You can't be safe. Yeah, they were like, uh... I guess, oh, because they cover their face? Oh, God. I mean, it's just a bad joke. I don't get it. I'm from here, and I don't know who she is. Oh. It's just jokes. Obviously, she knows the girl's not just from Africa. I think everybody else is trying to be so politically correct and not offend people that they don't understand that she's just trying to be funny. I think it's a thin line. You do have to tread lightly and be careful. But older comedians, that's a learning process. <laughs> not racist. She dated a dude. There was a purpose. Oh, come on. Is that racist? Do you guys think so? It's like, okay, that could be funny if you're doing it with your best friend. Y'all not best friends. I think, I mean, she gotta know her timing too. Like, if she's talking, let's tell a story. You interrupting trying to be funny. I wouldn't do that. That wouldn't sound like genuine dating. I'm gonna keep up with Facade forever. What does her race matter with what she's doing as a, I guess, a counselor? She wouldn't be like, this is a friend of mine. Like, don't talk about my friend. I don't like Jamie that much. thing about Lonnie is she's not that funny you know what I'm saying I, if, if her delivery didn't work it came off too serious it came off like interrogating it didn't come off as a joke and that girl genie is so damn serious it's like lighten up a little bit 
what you want and to really own who you are. She's an empowering woman. She's a feminist. And she's really, really, really good at what she teaches. So if you need to just understand all the giftings you have to be able to get what you want in life and be direct about it, she's the girl for you. I think if you have someone following you around, oh, telling God. you what to do on a date, maybe you need to reassess yourself and relax. Get to know yourself. That part. Yes. Yes. <laughs> going on a date and having somebody micromanage it is weird. Oh God. I think I remember watching this. That's every man. Oh my gosh. That is every man in the world. Some men just think that they have control. They have money. That they can do whatever they want. Society lets them get away with it. That's not a black thing. Okay, that is true. That is true. There is truth to that, but... Y'all consoling her for stupidness. I don't suffer being a black woman. See, y'all don't know how to eat? I'm just saying, you know, these terms, you know, and maybe, yeah, these ladies. Okay, here's the thing. This video, this, that's, this is not racist. It may be weird, it may be off, it may be dumb. It's not racist. Oh, I hate people who do this. I hate people who do this. You act like because you became successful, because you are in the top 2%, 3%, that that's everybody. Because you're surrounded by a group of black and brown women, and you see, you guys have made it, that, oh, everybody can make it. Hello? Everybody knows women struggle the most in this world. To say that that's not true really invalidates everybody's struggle. That's my issue. What she said here wasn't racist. It's just dumb. Dumb. From a perspective where you would think like, she didn't struggle. She didn't watch her family struggle. She didn't have her mother struggle. You just talked about being from the hood, being poor, and not knowing how to eat. And you're talking about how everybody can make it, everybody could do good. You're not oppressed. You're not part of the struggle movement. You are. Open your eyes. Not everybody is where you are. Not everybody is afforded your opportunities. Not everyone is fortunate to have made it. And not because they didn't want to, not because they didn't try. But there are systematic things that hold people back. The problem is you have a lot of black women who want to be, oh, I'm strong, I don't need nobody, I'm this, I'm that, that they cannot admit or accept, you know, certain things were hard, certain things were more difficult. Like, no, I'm a, I'm a success, I did it on my own, I didn't need nobody, and that's her stance. And it's like, you don't, you don't have to be so damn hard all the time. Relax. Be real, be honest, be vulnerable, that's okay. You sitting there, you wanna cry about, you don't know how to eat. But you're surrounded by other minority women who did know how to eat, who could have been in the same situation as you. So it's like, you speak for yourself. You, She keeps speaking for the collective. Don't do that, don't do that. Listen, thank you guys so much for watching this video with me. I don't know if these were necessarily racist or offensive. Here's the thing, after watching this video, I realized Okay, I called her a comedian, but she's not that funny. It's like her jokes didn't land. You know when you, they tell you, know your audience? Hello, know your audience. Her audience was never with it. All the girls around her didn't find the humor, not even once. If they laughed, it was fake laughs. They, they, weren't, they weren't for it. Know your audience, know who to joke with. Know what kind of jokes to make around certain people. Y'all claim to be real friends, it doesn't show. I think that's part of the reason why I stopped watching the show. It's just too much pretending. It's for me. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You might disagree with me. Let me know. Thank you again. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.